So I've been involved in both the uh, voluntary sector and the private sector. So currently I'm running a company called Green Rewards, uh, which is all about promoting sustainability in the workplace. And also I've been very involved in the charity sector through the charity Trees for Cities. So I was the kind of uh, founding chief executive, ran the charity, built it up, and uh, I was a trustee of it for the last few years. So you've got experience in being involved from the get-go of setting up charity? Yes, well. yes, I've run a startup charity from startup, oh. so I know what it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the role of a chairman, you know, in a, in a, in a sort of um, a most obvious way, you chair the, 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 the trustee meetings. So we've got a group of very exciting trustees, very, very talented, capable trustees. So I will have to somehow kind of chair them and make sure that we come to good decisions. And I think that's the key thing. It's about coming to good decisions. It's a bottomless well in terms of what we could support. There are so many projects out there. Uh, the foundation obviously has limited resources, you know, it's, it's not a bottomless well. So we've got to make sure that the resources of the foundation are used in the way that's going to get the greatest impact. Well, I was very, very excited, you know, I think it's, it's a new foundation, which is uh, always exciting to be involved in a new initiative. Uh, it has a lot of scope to kind of do things in a different way because we're not sort of, you know, tied down by procedures and stuff that have built up over time. So it's always exciting to be involved in something new. And you know, I think the, the focus of the foundation in terms of quality of life in the at work, so creating a fairer, more equal, better working life. We all spend God knows how much of our time working. <laughs> Too much, exactly. So, you know, I think it's, it's really important that there are uh, projects that help particularly people that are disadvantaged you know whether it's in the UK whether it's internationally whether it's women or whether it's ex-offenders or young people or disadvantaged groups that they are treated fairly in the workplace and are given an opportunity to develop their skills and improve their life chances. Well, I think the most exciting thing is going to be the projects that the foundation supports. It's not so much about quantity, it's about quality. You know, so it's about uh, some supporting some projects that make a very real uh, impact to people's lives, you know, that really are game-changing for those individuals. And that those individuals can then become game-changers themselves. And kind of, you, you get a kind of a ripple effect out so that more people are affected. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be challenges. Every organisation has its challenges, so that's inevitable. I, mean, I think one of the challenges I can sort of predict at this stage is this uh, risk-reward ratio. I think, you know, how willing are we going to be to take, to take the odd risk on projects uh, where they're not so well established, the individuals haven't been doing it for so long, but there again, projects like that could be the ones that have the most impact. That's really what I want to do as chair, is make sure we can steer those decisions uh, so that as a group of trustees, we are really having an impact and we are improving the quality of life for, for individuals. That's what it's all about.